Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Brandon, and welcome to Audio Addiction, where you can find the latest album reviews, you can find our band interviews, and you can find live video of the concerts that we get. Um, unfortunately, there aren't too many shows going on at the moment. Um, there's a few more shows um, towards the end of this month that I'll be going to, so I hope look forward to get some video for you guys. Um, but other than that, there isn't too much going in that, on in that department. However, been posting a lot more album reviews and we always post the interviews uh, three times a week so if you haven't checked those out definitely go check out all the bands that I do interviews with uh, they're all great bands so definitely go give them a spin but if you enjoy what I do make sure to hit that subscribe button also make sure to hit that like button as well it certainly means a lot and tonight we're gonna be talking about mates fates new record a home for all so, um, for those of you who do not know about this band, uh, they are a French band. Um, they have a sound very similar to like Architects, uh, Beartooth, um, Devil Wars Prada a little bit, like older Devil Wars Prada stuff, even like newer Devil Wars Prada stuff, but definitely like met, you know, atypical like metalcore sounding music so um i was actually approached by um their manager linda shout outs to you linda you're great um but she sent me over this band as well and they asked me if i'd like to interview them and do a review of their album so i obliged and said of course i would love to do it so you know i wanted to give a listen and you know give you my thoughts on the album as a whole and you know what i enjoyed and what i didn't enjoy so Let's get into the first track, which is the title track, A Home For All. Um, I like the gu guitar sort of drum intro. I always love when bands do this. Um, I think it's, I obviously, it, you know, sometimes it can get a little bit too much, but I, for some reason, I always love hearing that sort of like, like, you know, build up to that in the beginning. So definitely enjoy that part. Um, I also like the diversity of screams, um, his yells and his lows and his mids. And I don't think he had too many highs, but definitely mids. He definitely had his mids and stuff like that. Um, and his yells remind me a lot of Sam Carter from Architects um, in that regard. So I really enjoy that. Um, I think the cleans are unique for sure, uh, but not in a bad way. I think they are just something to either you'll either like or you don't like. Um, I think for me, it's kind of more or less okay. Um, I know I'm like one of the, I know I just said you'll fall in between one of those two, but you know, who knows, maybe you might like it, maybe you might not, who knows. Um, but the instrumentals remind me a lot of like nostalgic metalcore acts like Devil Wars Prada, um, there's, you know, a little bit of Bear Tooth sprinkled in there and, you know, um, Architects as well. You can definitely tell those are influences on Maid's Fate without a doubt. Um, and just how they write and their overall style in that in that regard. So we'll move on to track number two, which is Souvenirs. Um, this has kind of a uh, new metal feel at the intro. Very, you know, I, I don't even really know how to explain it. It just has a new metal sort of sound to it. Um, this, Like I said, the screaming kind of reminds me of a mix between Sam Carter in terms of the yelling and stuff like that. Um, but he also has a little bit of fast bits, which kind of remind me of like Franz and how he, you know, does his vocal style and just how he projects things and stuff like that. Um, I think it's very similar to that. And um, I think the leads are a nice touch in the bridge slash ending. And I think overall, this is a pretty decent track. So we'll move on to track number three, which is Hope Way. Um, I would definitely say this one is one of my favorites off the record. Um, I like the overall layers and like the production value of the tracks. Um, I, I always love, like like I've said a million times, I always love when bands do that, you know, production, add different elements to their overall tracks and stuff like that. Um, so like a track that may seem bland at some times is also helped out by the fact that there are layers and it kind of, kind of makes the track a little bit different in that regard. So I really enjoy that. Um, I also get, again, strong Devil Wars Prada sort of vibes especially um, reminiscent of like the Space EP very recently that they did. Um, definitely sounds like that. Again, another diverse, very diverse screaming throughout this track. In some parts, you know, there's kind of like almost spoken word parts, like in terms of like Mike Karanka, stuff like that from Devil Wars Prada. 
and then he also sounds very reminiscent or ha has modeled his scream off off of uh, Sam Carter from Architects. And then again, I like the solo in this track as well. I think I like when bands kind of add that sort of like lead solo each sorts of parts. I think that's really cool. Um, so we'll move on to track number four, which is Undercover. I would say uh, without a doubt, this one's one of the heaviest tracks. Um, I feel like it's very straightforward in its sort of delivery of the track. You know, not very, um, I don't know, it's not very creative. It's just very, you know, cut and chase to the point pretty much. Um, and I enjoy that. I like, you know, I like when bands do diverse things, but I also like when they just are very straightforward and get to the point. So that one's really great. Um, and I also, again, I mentioned it about 20 times throughout this uh, review, but it definitely reminds me a lot of Sam Carter um, from Architects. You can tell that he's a monumental influence to um, to Matthew, uh, the vo their vocalist. And then the last track is uh, Prison of Silence. I would definitely say this one is my favorite as well. Um, I would say this track seems out of the whole uh, EP. I feel like this track is the most cohesive. Um, I feel like the band kind of hits on all cylinders in that one. Um, it's probably my favorite sla singing slash screaming track where, you know, he balances it very well. Matthew does a great job of that. And I do enjoy the buildup. However, I feel like there is a bit of a letdown. Um, you know, I think, especially in the first part, there's two sort of like buildup parts. Um, I feel like the better buildup part was towards the second breakdown. I feel like that kind of gotten a little, got a little bit better at that time. But overall, I think... My pros and cons of this record, um, pros, I think, you know, they definitely have things that I enjoy in a good metalcore record, you know, really diverse screaming, um, you know, overall, I like the influences that they draw from, I think that's another big positive as well, um, and, you know, I feel like it's very straightforward in how it's approached and how it's delivered, um, but my overall cons for this record I would definitely say it needs some work, in my opinion. Um, and I'm not even trying to talk shit or anything. It's just my opinions on it. Um, but to me, it seemed like uh, it was hard to mow through. And what I mean by that is that the tracks seem to almost blend at certain points. And like it, some tracks seem to drag on longer than I would have liked them to. Um, and just I feel like the, the clean screaming... The clean singing was decent, but it's probably not one of the best that I've heard. And, um, but the screams kind of really got me. So I really enjoy the screaming. However, I feel like the clean vocals could definitely use some work, um, without a doubt. I think to me, it just seemed like they were much weaker in comparison to the screams. Now, if you listen to this record, I definitely feel like the screams are abundantly better. Than the clean vocals and um it was just something that it was kind of apparent when you're listening to the tracks um and i also feel like a lot of the tracks don't feel very like cohesive they feel like very cookie cutter you know again straightforward sorts of tracks which can be great at some times but in most of these tracks it felt like that and the two favorites that I enjoy were still good tracks but they were even borderline cookie cutter as well on top of that so to me I feel like there needs to be a little bit more creativity um in this album I just felt like it was just lacking that pizzazz that you know bands that they were essentially you know learning from like Architects and Beartooth and Devil Wears Prada they all have something that just has that pizzazz to them. And I just felt like this band kind of lacked that overall pizzazz to it. So, you know, to each their own, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this track, on this whole album and just the tracks in general. Um, do you feel the same way as I do? I need to know why. If you don't agree with me, I, I would certainly like to know. And, you know, don't, I hope you guys don't get too mad at this. I'm just going from it from a very neutral standpoint. Um, but to me, it lacks that overall, like, emphasis, pizzazz, the sort of, like, thing that wants me to be drawn into this album. And, um, for me, 
when I listen to a lot of albums and when I want to repeat albums, it's something either that's really special about it, it has a lot of repeat value, or um, it's just something special to me. And this just lacked that overall, like, like that overall pizzazz to it. Um, but I look forward to see what these guys do. I still support these guys tremendously. So definitely go pick it up if you enjoy what they do. Um, and go check them out if you live in France as well. Um, but my overall rating for this record, I have to give it a uh, 7.3 out of 10. It's not my cup of tea. That's all I'm going to say. It's just not my cup of tea. Um, and it may be for somebody else. But that's I'm not going to give a terrible score just because I don't think it's good. Somebody else might find this album to be good. And I'm not the type of person to talk shit. So, you know, if you enjoy this record, enjoy the hell out of this record. I think it's, I think it's a solid record. But I'm looking for something that has that specialness to it. So, hopefully next time... I'll see something good from these guys, and, you know, I, I wish the best for them, certainly. So, definitely go check out Mates Fate if you haven't. Um, and if you enjoy what I do, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the review, make sure to hit that like button. If you didn't, let me know why you didn't in the comment section below. So, my name is Brandon, and we hope you got your fix, and we'll be talking with you soon. Peace. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos, so definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us guys talk to you later deuces